Let's unbox the January Core Supplies Discovery Box from Acid Drop. Hello and welcome to another video here on the YouTube channel SDF Wargaming Studio. I'm Weil and today I will unbox the January Core Supplies Discovery Box from Asset Drop. It's a subscription service for uh, about £20 from AssetDrop.co and um, you get various core supplies, painting supplies, um, paints, washers, sponges, brushes, anything you'd want and need for your um, miniature painting. So um, let's just get it open and see what's inside. It's uh, The box has gone a bit dinged in the mail, but uh, that's just a cardboard box, so the contents should be fine. And as always, you get the, called, uh, the Discovery Painting Guide. With guides, we'll have a look at that later. So the wrapping, um, and of course you get some Haribo's in there, it's always nice. Then we have some sapphire blue, blue sapphire from Pearl X, made in the USA, non-toxic. Interesting. Looks very shiny. And there's some uh, pearlescent. Uh, it's hard to capture it on the camera, but it has a very pearly, pearly uh, look to it. Uh, from Comarts. Colors, airbrush and paintbrush. So I've had a couple of paints from these in a previous box, but I haven't had the go with them yet. And there's some uh, Vallejo with the Mecca range. Some, uh, so there's two washes, a light rust wash and a dark rust wash and some rust texture matte texture. Interesting. I've, I've, uh, so it's Mecca Weathering as well. I've uh, not tried the Mecca line. And here we have Scale Color. Uh, fancy in game. So there's Heike Yellow, Marduk Yellow and Peanut Butter. Very nice. So that's the colors, and now we'll, let's see what we can do with it. So a um, message from Andy, the founder of Azadrop. They have uh, a new uh, box for heroes, and then it tells you what's inside the. Um, What's inside the box and what the RRP price? Well, I guess the PE, the RRP is the price. So RRP for the various uh, stuff you get in there, so you get a little bit of a saving um, on the products. It also tells you about about the um, the products and the the companies. So there's a guide for painting rust using the. The Vallejo rust texture and the rust washes, and then some nice color pictures. Uh, of this is, um, I guess, a drop of the rust wash, so it has a really nice texture to it. To it. And there's it goes. Adding uh, the pearlescent medium and the uh, black paint, and then adding and then rusting it up. So that's a very interesting effect. And then it goes, you, it goes through um, step by step. 
and ending up with a very, very cool effect at the end. So the um, guides in these are very, very nice. I've been using them a lot um, lately, and um, they're very uh, well written. And it doesn't just tell you do this; it also tells you how you do this. Um, it doesn't say use this technique. It explains to you what the uh, what the technique is. And pearlescent uses for a pearlescent medium. So I'm guessing I'm guessing it's is not just a pearlescent paint. It's a pearlescent medium. So you can mix it um, to other colors to get a more pearlescent paint um, to it. So adding it to acrylics, thinning metallics. So yeah, you can add it to a metallic and not lose the metallic shine, I guess. And then there's the Parallax pigments. Some uh, explaining some interesting techniques there. And there's a guide for painting feathers using um, uh, the the the, the uh, yellow paints. And very very nice um, yellow yellow feather um, effect. And then, as always, giving back, um, Acid Drop gives a percentage of the profits to the Blue Marine Foundation. So that is always a nice bonus at the end. So, let me know what you think about this, um, this box. Have you used any pearlescent medium before? Or any of the Macrange um, weathering uh, products? And uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, until next time, I've been Wild and you've been watching STF Wyoming Studio. And please comment, like, share and subscribe. And please consider supporting us on Patreon using the links in the, dis the description below. And as always, enjoy your hobbying.